Yes, hello, you everybody. We have today uh, an aspiring and successful entrepreneur online, of course. The name is Akshay. So Akshay, please let us know uh, from where are you from? What is your background? Hi, great to see you, Christos. Nice to meet you. Thank you for giving this amazing opportunity to me. Right, I'm basically coming from uh, India. Uh, right, and uh, I'm basically from a place called KGF Kolar Gold Fields. It is one of the world's largest uh, uh, gold fields. <laughs> uh, comes from our place, and um, I help people build long-term communities. How we can refine them, gamify them, and help people with the retention of the customers. Because right now the pandemic happened and the recession is happening, and like good tools like uh, chat gpt and so many things are coming so many things is like available online but right now the communities are more important and that is what i'm focusing right now i had been into consulting coaching jumped into so many industries and finally i got my calling and this is something which i have to do and that is how i'm right now helping about people with so if you could just put a sentence that you could include your calling how would you name it yeah see uh, how i was able to find out my calling was before uh, uh, when i started my journey i was like just focusing only on money right like i have to make money i have to make money i was just desperate about how i can make money i used to get somewhere here there one two three four five clients okay what next right and i used to work very hard also uh, like it was like uh, i used to get burnt out also right i it was ups and downs the moment it was not there but i what i figured out is how i find out my obsession the calling is i like talking to people meeting people greeting people just like you right and uh, that's how i figured out my strength is like communication speaking with them persuasion i like to be with people right now i figured out okay communication is one persuasion is one i like people what is the union or intersection of all these sets Right, and that is when I figured out the chemistry of all these things because I'm able to interview uh, guys like Naveen Jain. Uh, last month I interviewed uh, Anik Singhal. Uh, two days back I interviewed Neil Patel, like the top marketers. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's how I figured out, and that's how I figured out community building is my calling, and I started to focus on that. Because many people will not know maybe what means community building. So could you please uh, clarify to our audience about this? Yes. Yeah. See, uh, community building is like, even if you see humans in the Sipayans, like Africa, right? Like millions or like thousands of years back, we all used to stay. Now, just like religion, right? Many people are like Hindu, Muslim, Christian, everybody have their communities. They have their own set of rules, right? Like when we uh, go to a mosque, like we go in a different way. When we go to a church, we dress up in a different way. We all have the same like-minded people. When we go to a football stadium, like you go with like a different uh, dress, right? When you go to a marriage, you come up with a different thing. When you go to an election, it's a different thing. It's like different, different communities. Now, what happens is learning happens. Uh, one thing what I really love about schools or colleges, we meet friends, right? Mm -hmm. You don't just learn from the teacher or like the guru out there. Like you mingle with the friends, you ask friends, hey, what is math? How to solve this problem? How to do this? And what happens in communities is uh, what we do is online communities, like a Facebook group or a school community. Mm -hmm. where all the people now, coaches, consultants, trainers, they have their coaching programs, they train. Nowadays, uh, things nobody implements that. Execution and procrastination is a big problem. But when everybody is put in a community, in a classroom, and everybody is given a task, and when they tell, like just like in school days, a teacher used to tell, finish your homework, you get a chocolate, mm -hmm. right? or like you get some gift or like award. Now in community, what happens is it creates a sense of competition, like collaboration, like I have to work. In school system set, collaboration is wrong, like you fail, right? Don't copy in the exam. But in real world, it's all about collaboration. You know something, I know something, how we can collaborate and make a world a better place to live. That is yes. what community is all about. Yes, this is fantastic. And in the background, we can see that you have a summit. Can you tell can yes. you share with us something more? Yeah, sure. 
yeah this was the first summit which i did called like real knowledge club summit where we brought like close to like 21 speakers from various different countries like usa uk um, dubai um, everything right we actually uh, were telling about uh, how to go about uh, when it comes down to mindset communication skills leadership skills sales skills persuasion storytelling these are the six most important non conventional things in real world these are the things important no matter who that person is you have to know how to communicate well you have to know how to persuade well you have to know how to sell like persuade uh, stories and uh, all these things right and good leadership and that's what i did that was the first summit and then the second summit that's when we brought like guys like billionaires like navin jain i was i think you also know him <laughs> right <laughs> yeah because uh, at the end of the day uh, i was thinking what it takes to become a billionaire right let us learn from somebody who has already achieved it because mm-hmm. navin jain is not an ordinary billionaire right he has company to going to the moon and he is doing a company called like bio making illness option optional right i what i figured out is it's not just for me it's for community and people also yep. if i bring them not only i learn my community my students they also learn i'm able to impact i'm able to create connection with them get the knowledge for myself also and even for the people also right and that is how this interviews with the real knowledge club started but we know all of us if we follow you on the facebook that you have a very very profound mentor and this is some avans uh, yes yeah uh, i have another mentor uh, whose name is like um, sam owens he is basically uh, who taught me about like how to get started in consulting somebody uh, who literally changed with the paradigm world view mindset right because before that i was having that broke mindset i was getting afraid can i interview a billionaire can i interview top entrepreneurs i didn't had that mindset i didn't believe that i didn't had that energy i didn't had that um, everything right and that's when i started to get mentors and sam owens said like you can do it right and you are learning from the best people and that believes about consulting how to basically go about with talking with international people everything and once the mindset shift changed i started to meet people help people and that's how i was able to help so many people but how but somehow your mindset upgraded or shifted as we say what was this process that you implemented so as to shift your mindset from as we say the false self that is the scarcity so as to being capable of having abundance on thinking to interview millionaires and billionaires how happened this shift yeah see well, first of all i was like very lonely right i was lonely and i had an amazing team member and she had left me right i was like like little bit depressed or like lonely oh my god like somebody had left me you know uh, when we like someone and when we love someone if they live like you become emotionally uh, drained or like emotional uh, you won't be so happy right i was thinking what can i do to create that energy for me so that i can actually help more people and impact more people also that's when i was figuring out one day what if i can uh, uh, now the team member is lost like i don't have the team right uh, somebody whom i really like and care and now what if i can do i can attract people of that energy so that i will be like very happy also and what bigger mission i can do right instead of going like some people <laughs> cut their hand jump from the building <laughs> those things right what yeah. can i do something on the higher energy consciousness alignment with the uh, spirituality and what i can do so that i can be more happy and also make others also happy right because if you listen to someone's problem and if you know solution by telling them the solution you become more happier right sure. and sure. that's when that shift happened because i felt lonely what can i do then i started to message people right the most important thing is intention right and this is the five step framework which i can tell you all right if you have to interview these people the first thing is our intention has to be clear why you are doing what you are doing right once our intention is clear then our messaging has to be clear i had the community right when i went and approach like navin jain or like lopen or like anik singhal or neel patel i told them clearly i have one of the largest communities out there i am the community guy 
I like sharing the knowledge, wisdom, right? You have been there, you have all the problems you have faced and you have grown there, right? Like multi millions or like billions of dollars. Now for all the people who are here, how they can reach here? Can you tell us like with your life experiences, like your stories, what problems you face? Because people on the top are humble, right? They want to share. And they believe that giving back, like helping others so that they can also come. And that is what the first thing is intention. Second thing is our clear why. And third thing is our proper messaging has to be. You should never ask for money for the big people because so many people ask for money. Can you give me money? Right. And they don't get the response. But we are going there for knowledge seeking, right? For sharing the knowledge and the wisdom. And once that is clear. And once you have the community, it becomes way more easier to bring the people and they come and tell, uh, speak. And it also depends on the experience also. On first time itself, I was not able to get like a billionaire or someone. But once I was able to get Naveen Jain, everything became super easy. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah. everybody, uh, like Naveen Jain is so big, right? And everybody is like almost a little bit uh, below than him and it becomes way easier <laughs> to get it. And let's say that we have uh, some people here that they are listening to this and they are skeptical about uh, starting building community and interviewing, of course, <laughs> some uh, millionaires, maybe billionaires, or in general to start from something mediocre, okay? We don't say mediocre was a bad thing, but they need to make a step. What is this advice that you would give to these people, to this audience on why what is the messaging why the celebrity should be interviewed by this person what will be the win of the celebrity because this is important yeah see uh, the most important thing is uh, the celebrity also want to share their knowledge and wisdom they also want to tap the other audience and they want to share that right that is the win for the celebrity like we are part of their mission if they have the book we are promoting their book now even if you see here also i have written yeah, yeah. Uh, and like i have kept so many books right it's yeah. like i just want to tell like the importance of the book right like example moonshot this creating the world of abundance by Naveen Jain, forwarded by Richard Branson and like Tony mm -hmm. Robbins. Now, this book, um, it's like um, I'm part of their mission. I'm helping. I'm talking about them. Mm -hmm. Right Now, it feels anybody feels happy about them. If you are speaking about them, you are sharing their message. That is going to be win for them. But win for you is going to be you will be able to create trust with your audience way better. Right? People will believe you because you are giving more value instead of trying to, what many people do is they try to directly pitch about the product or like your offer before adding any value. Mm -hmm. Now, how you can be different is like by doing something different because not everybody does the interviews or like bring people and like share that massive value, right? But if you do something differently, even before they pay you money, you are giving insane amount of value. It creates a better bond, better trust, better bond. You have a unique uh, selling proposition, right? In this way, whatever coach you are, mindset coach, mm -hmm. fitness coach, consultant, whatever you are, you create a unique authority because you have interviewing big names. Not everybody can make. Now, how many coaches are there? You know so many coaches, right? A mindset coach, fitness coach. But how many coaches you know? would have interviewed like a billionaire or like top entrepreneurs. There's only few people you can remember. Yeah. It, this is the unique advantage you get. And that's how um, you will be able to create a dent in the market faster. Because when you get big people, they telling advice is going to be very profound because mm -hmm. it comes from experience. Yeah. And let's say that some person wants to approach, as we call it, some celebrity. Of course, existing many social media that uh, he or she can reach to 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 the celebrity, but you know when they are very when they are celebrities, they are millionaires, billionaires. Probably there is some sort of mystic techniques, that secret techniques that we can attract the attention of this millionaire or billionaire. What could be your advice? Because everyone can make a friend request, everyone can send an email. But not every friend request on every drop message can reach really this millionaire, this celebrity. What would be your advice on this? 
Absolutely. See, first of all, like you have to read about them, their mindset, their book, everything. If they have a book, if they have a blog, if they have YouTube, just go through that content, everything. Right? Like, like it's like simple example. How do we pass in the exam? You go read. You hone the craft. Like learn that, read that. That's when you go in the exam, right? And there is a question, and you'll be able to answer. Mm -hmm. Similarly, even during interviews. you have to read their books you have to read their blogs understand where they are coming from what business they are into what impact they are making right everything once you have understood with that only then when you reach out with your intention your energy because they are only different energy and different frequency right mm -hmm. and we have to match to their frequency it's not like they will come to our frequency right yes. <laughs> this, this, this is to... right this is this is perfect yes as we go matching the frequency because when a person is connecting with the other for example we are both of us we are somehow vibrating at the same frequency so yes yeah, somehow you, you cannot be a millionaire in the beginning so as to attract to connect with a millionaire but somehow theoretically we we, we can just vibrate uh, synonymously okay absolutely yes yes, yes. this absolutely. is great advice so also people so as to vibrate in in high frequencies of course they have as you said before to have the mindset so before some person would need to start doing something like that interviewing celebrities probably needs to shift the mindset so as the mindset can reciprocate the mindset somehow of the celebrity is this right yes absolutely. absolutely now even if you uh, read uh, like principles by ray dalio or like law of success by napoleon hill or like think and grow rich they tell you what you think you act like you become right everything has to be aligned like you have to first believe like they will be able to come and you would have also seen even before me interviewing navin jain i created so many posters i'm going to bring him one day <laughs> and he's my dream right i had uh, created this um, banner also right uh, way before he's coming right and i had written i had just pinned this uh, right on my uh, desk itself so that every day i can see uh, navin jain and it's like even before he come i know he is going to come on the show right i believe that i trusted it right if you think now imagine like somebody going to exam and thinking that he is going to pass in the exam and he wrote only for 35 marks Do you think so he's you going to pass the exam? So simply, you use the law of attraction, right? Yes, absolutely. Simply, you did the three steps: first, ask yes. in your mind; second, believe; yeah. bridge; yes. and finally, receive. So yes, you yes. you are using the law of attraction, right? Absolutely. So yes. this is this is successful using yes, yes, visualization techniques, mood board, believing. Yes, this is this is a great insight. In great insight. Yes. So, um, if you have to to say some solid advice to a person, a young person that is eighteen years old and want to come to entrepreneurship and to start socializing, networking, so as his dream or her dream to be to build a community and finally to start interviewing high quality people, what would be your advice to this eighteen years old person? Okay. the first most important thing is go out identify who are the people like you are passionate about see and before like we interviewing we have to figure out what is the niche we are into now imagine like you are into architecture business right like you are architect now like figure out other art once you have identified your niche figure out who are the best architects in your city in your country in the world right start with like local itself right try to get like one or two guest from your own city then your country then on a global level because when you do mistakes when you are small it is very easy it's like when you are riding a bicycle and if you fall down nothing will happen but if you fall in bike like the leg will be yeah. fractured so this is exactly <laughs> right? as we say we we climb the ladder but not five steps and five steps but step by step so if we fall okay. down for, from one step it won't hurt us but if we climb five steps then it will be very difficult and painful hence maybe even dhamad singh right absolutely so this is yeah. fantastic this is fantastic so we we got very very useful insights about community building 
and how to interview. But I would like to summarize that one thing that Akshay mentioned that is the most important, shifting the mindset while using the law of attraction. And finally, as you mentioned it in the last, take one step at a time, right? Yes, yes. Right, so Sorry. how can people find you if they want to work with you, if they want to interview you to interview them or they to interview you? Is it possible and acceptable in the uh, monitor top uh, bottom left that says your name and surname? Is it good to find you on Facebook like that? Yeah, absolutely. What they can do is they can just go to like Facebook and just type Akshay Rashikaran, A-K-S-H-A-Y space yeah. R-A-J-S-H-E-A-K-A-R-A-N. Yes, right? and they can find the name in the bottom left. Absolutely. They can just go and search and then they will be able to identify me and they you can just start a friend and you can also join my community on school, www.school.com slash real knowledge club. And, right? we can and that's where that, uh, uh, hmm. Akshay is the CEO of Real Knowledge Club. Also, if you type this Real Knowledge Club in Facebook groups on Facebook, you can find it, right? Absolutely, yeah. Right. That's where you'll be able to learn, network with other like minded people. And if you have any questions about community building or like interviewing show, I'll be happy to help you out as well. <laughs> Fantastic. So it was great to having you, Akshay, today. And let's. Absolutely. Make point fingers for uh, <laughs> for people. <laughs> hmm. Bye bye. Yeah, thank you so much. It was bye -bye. great to have you.